Okay, so what if you feel um, inspired by a calling, like you feel you have gifts to share, uh, God's gifts to share, maybe in helping others in some way or facilitating or inspiring people or, or motivating people in some way? and you feel that that's God's gift uh, that you should be sharing and you feel inspired by God to go out there into the world and do that. And then uh, what and the, and the person was mentioning, sometimes they then would get this dark shadow, uh, 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 you know, impinging on their, on their soul. Or, and uh, I think that's very common for all of us that we feel inspired and then the ego brings up resistance to what one feels is what God's calling for us, <clears throat> you know, uh, things like sloth or doubt or who are you to try and share gifts with the, with the world or God's gifts with the world, you know, all kinds of negative self-talk, dark, dark thought. Of course, the shadow is not what you are and the dark, the negative thoughts are not what you are. They are originating out of the ego, uh, usually the personal ego or could be the collective ego. Uh, and uh, Okay, so if you, if you, how do you let go of anything? Well, one of the things to know is to have the attitude to transcend. If you feel rel relatively a relative level of spiritual clarity that, for example, my calling is to coach. Let's say that I was feeling inspired, I need to go out and be a coach. Actually, I am a coach, but there you go. And, uh, but then I'd start to get doubt and shadows that, no, who am I to be doing that? Or I, it's totally wrong. Uh, then what, what you do is you transcend, you, you feel relatively safe because you know what God's calling for you. And then you know that the shadow or the negative thoughts or the darkness or the dark feelings or the fear-based feelings are all things of, of ego and can be cancelled, transcended, felt away, observed away, course in miracled away with various lessons, 12 stepped away, uh, step 10 away. Uh, using 12 step tools um, or using any spiritual tool because they're not real. So you just use, I mean, some tools are more effective at releasing feelings or, or releasing or canceling beliefs or rendering things meaningless or step turning them until they disappear from your consciousness. So no resentment or fear resides within you. And then you become a pure channel of light and love and, and grace for, for God, for, for the higher calling. And um, so you, you dissolve anything that's dark or negative or self-attacking or limited can be, generally speaking, can be safely cancelled or spiritually taken out. So, for example, like if I felt every now and then I had a dark shadow and then felt like uh, felt less inspired or less or more slothful or more fearful or whatever, or more self-critical or more doubtful, then depending on what it is, you know, I could cancel it. God did not create dark shadows, they're not real. I cancel my belief, there's a dark shadow upon me. I'm an infinite being, I could use the Course of Miracles. Dark shadows are meaningless. The dark shadow is meaningless. Uh, the negative thoughts, the self-critical thoughts are meaningless. Uh, praying for willingness, you know, and inspiration. I pray for willingness. You can also pray to, to God, the Holy Spirit, uh, your guides, uh, the angelic realm, whatever for uh, uh for transcendence and miracles around the dark shadow around blocks around fears around negative uh, self-attack thoughts so whatever is going on they're, they're not of god anything that's dark and limited is not of god so it's safe to it's safe to uh pray cancel step 10 uh use any spiritual tool feel the feelings out go to the observer of it for anything that is that is not allowing your light or God's light and inspiration to flow through you clearly. So that's the way I'd take an attitude of transition and even use all the tools at your disposal. I mean, I share counseling beliefs, feeling the feelings, the observer, Course in Miracles, Hawkins' work, all great. Uh, so when you're in soul, when you're in spirit, it's effortless. There's an infinite presence orchestrating you as a puppet, you know, to say and do and be inspired and be guided in the right way. When one is feeling limited, contracted of fear or dark shadows or whatever, then that comes the um, reservoir of the, uh, you like the ego or the karma or the collective karma that comes in the way that needs to be, you could say it's your lessons, uh, your divine assignment for this lifetime to clear away the wreckage so you can be clear. So those are uh, the types of things. I mean, for myself, the thing I do, 
I always try and share it with others. And it's more like the observer and what St. Francis said. So St. Francis said, and I do it myself whenever something, uh, I get some kind of block. Uh, St. Francis said, what you're looking for is where you're looking from. So if suddenly, let's say I felt a dark shadow or some fear come up upon me. Okay, well, if I stay in my limited self, in my ego self, then I feel that this is affecting me. But it, actually fear or dark shadows cannot affect me. So I, need, I am in a place, I'm in my limited self, feeling uh, victimized by shadows or, or, or neg fear or negative thoughts. But actually the answer is to go to the place from where I'm looking from. So, okay, I'm feeling this fear. Fear is attacking my limited ego, my limited sense of self, my personality. But what's observing, what's observing me, what's observing the fear and what's observing the dark shadow? Is there an observer of the dark shadow and the me that's affected by it? And is this me, uh, is this me, can the me that observes all of this be affected by the me that can be affected by a dark shadow or that can suffer fear or is the limited me the real me? So St. Francis said, what you're looking for is where you're looking from. So let me go to the place. And when I do that, I go, oh my God, yes, the me that I thought I was and the fear that I thought was affecting me is not real. And suddenly there's a relief and a detachment from that. So that's one of the, my favorite ones for unhooking. Just unhook from the limited clouds of life uh, for they are ultimately they're not real. Okay, I'll stop.